anyway so hello and welcome back so i'm just out and about so this is sugar life reservoir so the reservoir is here and all this rock has been bought in so we've got the mudstone and looks like some sandstone uh, looks pretty sandy but this has a lot of quartz veins so we've got quartz here quartz here and how this and we've got a large massive reef here this is probably about a centimeter thick i don't have a ruler so probably a little bit less than a centimeter uh, and we've got some ava quartz veins here so this would have been deposited uh in fractures so these are fractures where the rock has been broken and it the water has percolated up to come up and this has happened during the uh i can't remember its name tabaranian orogeny uh, i need to learn how to pronounce that better so the quartz is being brought up the water uh, and it's been deposited in these fractures obviously you get quite a lot of fractures this is where you can get gold Deposited as well. See, here's another one. Let's see how all the fractures are. So you can see a lot of different types of fractures in here. And obviously, they do peter out. So you can see you've got one horizontal, vertical, diagonal. So here you've got, well, it's not quite 90 degrees smaller one to this one this one's probably about 45 degrees uh, to the large thick quartz so gold would be brought up with this quartz uh, and a lot of other minerals as well uh, but, but a lot of people just are, are concerned about the quartz and the actual gold and there's a road over there so all this has been brought in I don't believe that this is indigenous to the area I believe this is Silurian uh, but it probably wouldn't have been brought from pretty far so this would have been uh, the quartz would have been, would have been deposited uh, probably about uh, 380 million years ago during the mountain building phase and this is just something curious that I found here. If you see all the rock over here, you can quite easily see the rock with quartz in it. Uh, just very interesting, but I'm not too sure where this quartz uh, bearing rock actually come from. Because uh, most of the rock is uh, a dark form. So, a mudstone. So, but... And then you got the sandstone so very interesting uh, and this is only going to be a short video so this is how if you were looking for gold you'll probably look it for it in these quartz reefs uh, too many cars here yeah but from what I can see I don't see any gold in it at the moment uh, you need probably a microscope to see any gold if there is any uh, but if you were going to pan for gold you probably pan for it down there in the valley so that's a water course there's a river right down there and this will be uh, alluvial deposits right down there that you could probably pan for gold because obviously there's quartz roofs around here somewhere uh, but I'm not too sure where anyway I'll leave the video here. Just something very interesting that you see on your travels.